The Dom IX Twin Star is a German high security lock that was first patented in 2016. The pins are arranged in two rows of five, with the last key pin being an interactive key pin. There is also a second interactive sidebar element located on the bottom of the keyway and plug. The Twin Star uses Dom's characteristic shark fin key pin. To me, they look more like shark teeth, but we digress. The key pins have six possible heights. The longest three key pins have three orientation types. The left key pin can only be installed on the left side of the plug. The right key pin can be installed only on the right side of the plug. And the center key pin can be installed on either side. There are three driver heights and two shapes. The mushroom driver is either five, six, or seven millimeters. The spool driver is only six or seven millimeters. This is how the key pins are paired with the drivers. Finally, this is the rearmost interactive key pin and its driver. Let's take a closer look at those two interactive elements of the Twin Star. The key has two rotating rings, which are pushed by special warding found inside the keyway. In this rear view of the lock, you can see the two pieces of warding, now in yellow, which each push one ring in opposite directions to engage with their respective pins, now highlighted in green. The first ring is pushed down to set the sidebar element. The unique sidebar system is found on the bottom of the plug in a specialized groove. The groove has two sections, one for the sidebar and the other for a specialized key pin. These sections are separated by this elevated border. The sidebar is a cylindrical rod that has conical ends and a spring in the center. This allows the sidebar to shorten by being compressed. When the key pin is in its resting state and not sticking out, the elevated border is in line with the cylindrical section of the sidebar and prevents the sidebar from being compressed when a lateral force is applied. When the key pin is depressed by either the key or when being picked, it is pushed up into the sidebar groove and forms a continuous ramp with the elevated border. The conical end of the sidebar lays on this ramp and when a lateral force is applied, it is now able to be compressed and may enter its groove. The second ring is pushed up to interact with the rearmost key pin. This flat key pin sits higher in the keyway. It is possible to overset this key pin, so one must use caution. Having said that, the two interactive elements are relatively easy to pick. The shark fin key pin is most easily picked with a hook at this point in a vertical trajectory. Fortunately, the Twin Stars keyway has two convenient grooves which perfectly align your hook with this point of the key pin. There is also an upper groove that helps align the pick with the interactive sidebar element key pin located at the bottom of the plug. Okay, let's get to picking. All the pins will be set with the shallowest Sparrows SS Dev in 25 thousandths, with the exception of the max lift pins for which I will use a medium SS Dev. I'm going to be using a shortened bottom of the keyway tensioner and tensioning in the counterclockwise direction. I'm starting off with the left row of pins and using the notch on the bottom of the keyway as a guide. All right, click out of nine, seven and five are loose, click out of three. And a click out of one. Now I'm going to switch out to the medium SS dev to set the max lifts. Now those max lifts are the hardest part of this lock. So chances are that if you're having a hard time picking it open, it's because you're under setting those max lift pins. So you really got to use a deeper hook and get underneath there and push them up. Okay. Seven is now binding and set, click out of five, back to seven, five, now back to seven, click,
click at a 1, and a slight rotation of the core likely signifies that the left side is now set. Now I'm switching to the shallower SSDEV and quickly confirming that all the pins are set. I'm going to flip the pick and use the upper groove as a guide to reach the interactive on the bottom of the keyway. That click and a minor rotation of the plug shows that the bottom interactive sidebar element is now set. Everything on the left side seems to be set, so I'm gonna focus my attention now on the right side. Pin eight is binding, and I got a little click out of him. Click out of six. Now eight is binding again, and nice click out of eight. going down the row of pins and everything seems to be loose. I'm just trying to find a binder. So just nudging everything up, trying to set one thing at a time, seeing if anything clicks. Uh, everything's a little mushy now, so I'm just going back and forth over that stack. That's a nice click out of six again. An eight must have dropped because that was a very nice click and a bit of plug rotation. Click out of two. That's 10. Eight, that's loose. Six, four, six. Nothing's binding. Eight, check 10 again. eight and this is not an uncommon situation with a twin star or in fact any of the dom dual row locks the ix10 the ix10 kg the saturn and the twin star it's just that one last pin that's hanging up that you got to hit and everything opens so you just have to go back and forth over all the stacks and see what you're missing and you nudge that one up uh, with the hopes that you're not oversetting anything else in the process Going back in, that's eight, six, I'm on four again, pushing it up a little higher. And that was it. That was number four. That was what was holding us up. Nice. All right, let's get this guy out of the vise. And we're going to lock him back up. And I apologize ahead of time. I completely mess up the arrangement of these pins. So that's pin one, two, key pin three, four, five, and six. Those are all correct. Seven, eight, nine, and 10 are on the wrong sides. So that's seven on the wrong side eight on the wrong side, nine, and that's the interactive that's on the wrong side as well. I've taken out all the passive pins. They're in the center of the uh, pinning tray. I'm gonna take out that sidebar with the spring, and that spring is very fun to play with. Next, the interactive key pin on the bottom of the keyway, which serves as part of the ramp for that sidebar. The drivers, one, two, three, four, five, and six are gonna be in the correct position. And then drivers seven, eight, nine, and 10, while they will be paired with the correct key pin, are on the wrong side of the tray. I'm gonna dump out all the springs. And that groove on the bottom of the housing is where the interactive sidebar is positioned. Let's take a look at the plug. This is where key pins one through 10 sit with 10 being the interactive key pin. This is where the interactive sidebar sits and the side for the passive pins. And this is the keyway. 
going to arrange all of the pins nicely for you now. And once again, these two rows are inverted. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the video and perhaps learned something new. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.